Channel 22 News at Midday. Good afternoon. I'm Bob Montgomery. Former South Bend Mayor and Indiana Governor Joe Kernan is sending a strong message to South Bend's Common Council. He said in a news conference today he wants the infighting and the drama to stop. WSBT's Kelly Stubzinski just stepped out of the news conference with Kernan and other city leaders headed the county city building. Kelly Kernan says the situation so far is so far out of control it's affecting men, women and children living in South Bend. Bobby says it's keeping companies and jobs from locating here. Also says it's undermining trust between all elected officials and the people who live here. Kernan says he's watched the council over the last two and a half years with dismay and says he sees two different teams within the nine member council. He says there's one team that's embarrassed by what's happening and another team who's not embarrassed because they don't care about the consequences of their actions. Kernan did not name names, but said he was sent over the edge a couple weeks ago when the council went through what he called an excruciating process in the Henry Davis Jr. Facebook controversy. Davis Jr. posted a graphic picture of a naked man and a dog. And 48 hours after Council President Oliver Davis granted a motion to dismiss all charges against Davis Jr., Davis Jr. retweeted something else about abortion and Republicans. Kernan says something needs to change, and if need be, he says he will work to help find candidates of the 2015 election to run against the council members who are causing problems. But he's worried people might not want to run for office because of all this drama. Until then, though, he says this council needs to figure out how to work together. I don't know if they need a focus group or if they need to, uh, to get some counseling or whatever it might be. Um, but it, it's, uh, um, it's going to have to be their call. If they don't want to do it, they're not going to do it. I asked Kernan a couple of questions, including why he chose to speak out like this so publicly rather than meeting with council members one on one. He put it very simply saying, I love this city and he hopes it will spur some change. But again, stressed, it's not up to him. We are working to get reaction from all common council members and the Republican Party. Darla Hernandez is working on that and we'll have that for you tonight at five and six. I also spoke with St. Joseph's Democratic Party chair and also former mayor Steve Lickey. Bob, coming up tonight at five and six. You will also hear how they're sounding off about all of this. Kelly, it really sounds like there's a whole lot more controversy to really unfold this afternoon. That's right. The activist group People United for Better Government, led by Mario Sims, they're holding a press conference they announced at 3 o'clock this afternoon. That group says Kernan's remarks are, quote, politically motiv motivated and an attempt to chill free speech. End quote. We plan to have a crew there, Bob, and bring you that also tonight at 5 and 6. All right, Kelly. Just now beginning. Thanks very much. Now, just hours before Kernan.